tired of doing this. Hi, girls. Perhaps one of the most bizarre branches of today's agriculture is the ever profitable antler farming. The deer farming year really begins in the spring when the calves are born. Costing anywhere from $500 to thousands of dollars. Exactly. So now I'm gonna observe the antler. I'm gonna look for damage to the antler. The business in recent times has been known to be an extremely hard and equally lucrative venture as this branch of agriculture. Focuses on the breeding of deer solely for their antlers. It's a pretty good while to add him up. But what exactly is this bizarre practice? How profitable is it, really? And what are the issues it faces? Join us as we explore how farmers raise millions of deer to get antlers. The farming of deer antlers has become quite fascinating in the world of agriculture. Imagine it as farmers stepping into nature's workshop, where they play a part in the incredible process of antler growth to meet the demand for antler products. Let's take a closer look at this journey farmers embark on to nurture high quality antlers from deer. The remarkable life cycle of antlers, those majestic crowns atop a deer's head, follows a captivating pattern that reflects the ever-changing seasons. It all begins with antler initiation, which kicks off shortly after a deer sheds its previous set. Think of it as tiny bumps, called pedicles, starting to form on the deer's skull. It leaves a kind of scar on the animal's head called the pedicle. And that's where the antler... Then comes the rapid growth phase, where antlers sprout rapidly, sometimes growing several inches per week. They're covered in a soft velvet-like tissue, kind of like a cozy blanket, and fed by a rich blood supply, fueling their growth. As the antlers reach their full size, mineralization and hardening occur. The once soft velvet dries up and falls off, leaving behind solid, sturdy antlers ready for action. Finally, the shedding and regrowth of antlers complete the cycle, as the majestic antlers are gracefully shed post-breeding season, only to begin the cycle anew. The size, shape, and quality of deer antlers are a product of various factors, combining genetics, nutrition, and environmental conditions. The uh, wound, think of the, the, the base, the pedicle, which is here, the very base of the antler. Genetics serve as the blueprint, laying the foundation for the potential size and structure of antlers within deer populations. Just as offspring inherit physical traits from their parents, so do deer inherit characteristics that influence their antler development. Besides, this nutrition acts as the fuel for antler growth, with farmers playing a crucial role in crafting diets that provide the necessary building blocks for robust antlers. These diets are carefully formulated to be rich in protein, calcium, and other essential nutrients, ensuring that deer have all they need to develop healthy, strong antlers. Environmental factors also exert their influence, with habitat quality and temperature playing significant roles in shaping the trajectory of antler growth. Usually, deers thrive in environments that offer ample space, clean water sources, and nutritious forage, all of which contribute to optimal antler development. So, how do farmers ensure the best conditions for antler growth? Firstly, they focus on nutrition management, tailoring diets to meet the specific needs of their deer herds during key growth periods. By providing specialized feeds packed with the right nutrients, they ensure that deer have the fuel they need for robust antler development. Genetic selection is another essential tool in the farmer's arsenal. By carefully selecting breeding pairs based on desirable antler traits, Farmers can gradually improve the overall quality of antlers in their herds over time. Habitat and environmental management are vital components of antler farming. Probably gotten spooked or just running through or whatever, and he had a couple of damaged tines on his right antler, mm -hmm. so. Farmers strive to create stress-free environments for their deer, ensuring they have access to suitable habitats, clean water sources, and nutritious forage. This not only supports antler growth, but also contributes to the overall health and well-being of the deer. Lastly, monitoring and care are essential aspects of antler farming. Farmers keep a close eye on their deer herds, monitoring their health and growth patterns. This allows them to quickly identify any issues that may arise and take appropriate action to address them, safeguarding the health and vitality of the animals.
In essence, antler farming is a delicate dance between humans and nature, where careful management of genetics, nutrition, and the environment ensures the well-being of deer herds and the production of high-quality antlers. Through dedication and stewardship, farmers contribute to the enduring beauty and sustainability of these remarkable natural creations. Deer are heavily dependent on their diet, so what kind of diet do these farmers feed them? And what do they consider for maximum growth? Stay tuned to find out. It's proper feeder training at new sites, buying fresh feed, and the big one is using feeders where deer can fully see all the surroundings, kind of like a trough here. Raising deer for their antlers requires a meticulous understanding of their nutritional requirements to foster their growth and development to the fullest extent. For deer, protein stands as a cornerstone for their diet, serving as a catalyst for antler growth and overall bodily development, especially crucial during the antler growth phase. Protein furnishes the essential amino acids requisite for tissue synthesis, fostering the swift expansion of antlers. Vitamins and minerals constitute vital components for sustaining deer health and vitality. Specific nutrients like calcium, phosphorus, and various vitamins are indispensable for bone development, which intricately influences antler growth. Furthermore, micronutrients such as zinc, copper, and selenium play pivotal roles in fortifying the immune system and facilitating metabolic function. The antler growth cycle is a dynamic process that requires precise nutritional support to meet the unique dietary requirements of deer at each stage. Quicker, and they utilized it more, and, and in my opinion, it's not necessarily because of the brand. As such, farmers meticulously formulate feeds, taking into account the specific needs of deer throughout the growth cycle. This meticulous approach ensures that deer receive a tailored diet rich in essential nutrients to facilitate rapid antler growth and mineralization. During the initial stages of antler growth, when deer are transitioning from shedding their previous antlers to the emergence of new growth, they require a boost of nutrients to kickstart the process. Because of this, feed formulations at this stage may be designed to provide an abundance of protein and minerals, essential for laying the foundation of robust antler development. As the antlers enter the rapid growth phase, characterized by exponential expansion, the nutritional requirements of deer shift accordingly. Farmers adjust feed formulations to sustain this rapid growth, ensuring that deer receive a steady supply of nutrients to support the burgeoning antlers. To foster growth, special attention is given to providing ample protein and calcium, crucial elements for building strong, sturdy antlers. During the final stages of the growth cycle, as the antlers near completion and mineralization, the focus shifts to reinforcing the structural integrity of the antlers. Feed formulations may be enriched with specific minerals such as phosphorus and magnesium, essential for the hardening and fortification of the antlers. This targeted approach ensures that deer have access to the nutrients needed to complete the growth cycle successfully. Deer in the industry, for whatever reason, we're breeding for um, and just try to increase our genetics now. Overall, the tailored nutrition provided by farmers throughout the antler growth cycle plays a critical role in fostering optimal antler development. By carefully crafting feed formulations to meet the evolving needs of deer at each stage of the growth cycle, Farmers ensure that deer receive a balanced diet that supports rapid antler growth and mineralization. This bespoke approach not only enhances the quality of the antlers produced, but also contributes to the overall health and well-being of the deer. A woman feeding nearly a dozen deer on her property is going viral. It's really cute. When it comes to life stage considerations, deer traverse through diverse life stages, each necessitating specific nutritional profiles. From tender fawns to maturing adults, farmers adeptly adjust feed formulations to meet these evolving requirements, promoting healthy growth and development at every juncture. To ensure the utmost success, innovative feeding strategies and supplements constitute vital components in this endeavor. High protein feeds constitute a staple in antler growth support. These specialized feeds are meticulously formulated to fuel robust antler development incorporating a balanced blend of protein sources such as soybean meal and alfalfa to ensure the provision of essential amino acids. Mineral supplements serve as indispensable additions to deer diets, particularly during the antler growth phase. These supplements bolster mineral intake, crucial for the mineralization and fortification of antlers, thereby influencing their size and quality. 
they're putting on their antlers right now, so if we can add some protein in there, we might increase a little bit. Innovative feeding strategies extend to the management of natural forage and supplementing deer diets with additional nutrition sources. Farmers may cultivate specific forage crops or manipulate natural habitats to provide deer with supplementary nutrition, thereby enriching their overall diet and bolstering antler growth. By integrating these innovative feeding strategies and supplements into their practices, farmers empower deer to thrive across all life stages. From nurturing tender fawns to cultivating robust antlers in mature adults, these approaches underscore a commitment to holistic nutrition and sustainable farming practices. Through meticulous attention to dietary needs and the implementation of forward-thinking strategies, farmers play a pivotal role in shaping the health and vitality of deer populations, ultimately contributing to the production of superior quality antlers coveted for their strength, size, and aesthetic appeal. The established systems have become the standard for raising deer livestock around the world. Today, nutritional management stands as a linchpin in deer farming endeavors aimed at antler production, wielding direct influence over antler quality and yield. By furnishing balanced diets replete with protein, vitamins, and minerals and tailoring, feed formulations to accommodate deer's unique needs at varying life stages and during the antler growth cycle, farmers optimize antler growth and development. Innovative feeding methodologies and strategic supplement utilization further augment antler quality, ensuring the production of premium grade antlers for a myriad of applications. It's important to note that nutrients can only go so far as genetics play a major role in the growth of a deer. So how do farmers mitigate this, and do they play God with genetics? Stay tuned to find out. But ultimately they wanted to know what's their food safe. In modern deer farming, the artful orchestration of breeding and genetics stands as a cornerstone in the pursuit of superior antler production. In their relentless pursuit of excellence, farmers embark on a meticulous journey of selective pairing, aiming to cultivate a breed of deer that embodies the epitome of coveted traits. These prized characteristics, including imposing antlers, a robust physique, and a gentle demeanor, are meticulously sought after to perpetuate a lineage highly esteemed in the realm of high-quality antler production. Harnessing the power of advanced genetic evaluation techniques such as pedigree analysis and genomic testing, farmers delve deep into the genetic blueprint of each individual deer. However, deer antler velvet has slowly gained acceptance in other parts of the world. With a keen eye for detail and armed with a wealth of genetic information, farmers make informed breeding choices, meticulously selecting specimens boasting superior genetic attributes, conducive to the cultivation of prime antlers. In their relentless pursuit of innovation, farmers boldly venture into uncharted territories, leveraging cutting-edge methods to propel genetic progress and redefine the boundaries of excellence in deer farming. Today, artificial insemination stands as a revolutionary technique at the forefront of their endeavors. This futuristic process has transformed the breeding process by facilitating the infusion of sought-after genetic material from meticulously selected males into the breeding pool. As such, by circumventing the logistical challenges associated with the physical transport of animals, artificial insemination unlocks a new realm of possibilities, expanding the genetic horizons of the herd. This groundbreaking approach enables the seamless dissemination of superior traits across generations, catalyzing the evolution of the deer population towards heightened levels of excellence. Some deer, I mean, deer are like people, as I say. I mean, some deer are more gentle than others. Some deer are just kind of wild. Complementing this innovation is embryo transfer, another pinnacle of advancement. This technique involves the extraction of embryos from genetically elite females, meticulously chosen for their superior traits. These embryos are then delicately transplanted into surrogate mothers, serving as vessels for the propagation of coveted genetic characteristics on a grand scale. And hunters had shot all the trophy genetics out. By amplifying the dissemination of desirable traits, embryo transfer accelerates the trajectory of genetic progress within the herd, ushering in a new era of genetic excellence and innovation in deer farming. 
Through the strategic integration of these avant-garde methods, farmers not only expedite genetic progress, but also sculpt a future where excellence knows no bounds. By pushing the envelope of innovation, farmers uphold their commitment to excellence and pave the way for a new generation of deer characterized by superior traits and unparalleled genetic potential. In their steadfast commitment to excellence, farmers place paramount importance on the preservation of genetic diversity. By safeguarding varied genetic lineages, farmers fortify the resilience and adaptability of their herds, while also mitigating the inherent risks associated with inbreeding. Moreover, farmers cherish the treasure trove of bloodlines adorned with exceptional antler traits and genetic prowess. Through meticulous record-keeping and the implementation of strategic breeding protocols, farmers ensure the safeguarding and perpetuation of these invaluable genetic treasures. This concerted effort enriches the genetic tapestry of the herd, further solidifying its legacy of excellence in the realm of deer farming for antler production. Tired of doing this. Hi, girls. In the realm of deer farming today, the marriage of selective breeding and advanced genetic methodologies is paramount in sculpting the caliber and attributes of deer herds. By meticulously selecting for desired traits, employing innovative breeding techniques, and upholding the sanctity of genetic diversity and prized bloodlines, farmers propel genetic advancement and elevate the standard of their herds. These practices are not only instrumental in ensuring the sustainable production of premium antlers, but also underscore the enduring success of deer farming enterprises. All these processes seem quite intense, so here is a question. How does it all affect the deer's health? And how is the welfare of this majestic animal handled? Let's find out. You have too many deer in your pen, you can have some problems. I mean, the health issues. And so health issues. Ensuring the health and welfare of deer within farming operations is of utmost importance, particularly in the realm of antler production. Deer, much like any other animal, encounter a wide array of health challenges throughout their lives. These challenges span from dealing with parasites and infections to grappling with nutritional deficiencies. Internal worms and external pests, for instance, can inflict significant harm on their overall well-being while potential infections and dietary imbalances further compound these issues. It's a multifaceted battle that farmers must address diligently to ensure the health and vitality of their deer herds. To combat these threats, farmers take a proactive stance, implementing rigorous parasite control measures, vaccination regimes, and custom-tailored nutrition plans to address specific dietary requirements and keep the deer in optimal health. Ensuring the health and welfare of deer in farming operations requires a multifaceted approach, with several key components working in harmony. Central to maintaining deer health is access to veterinary care, a fundamental pillar of responsible farming practices. Here, farmers collaborate closely with veterinarians to establish comprehensive health management protocols conduct regular health assessments, and swiftly address any emerging health concerns. This vigilant approach ensures the overall well-being of the deer herd and mitigates the impact of potential health challenges. Moving to adequate housing is paramount for deer welfare, emphasizing ample space, protection from harsh weather conditions, and ready access to clean water and nourishing forage. As such, Farmers prioritize the design and maintenance of facilities that support natural behaviors, creating environments that promote the comfort and health of the deer. Besides housing, respectful handling techniques are crucial for minimizing stress and promoting deer welfare during routine management tasks. To ensure this, farmers employ gentle methods tailored to individual needs, such as calm and deliberate movements, to minimize fear and anxiety in the animals. By fostering safe and humane interactions, farmers prioritize the welfare of the deer at all times. Essentially, by prioritizing access to veterinary care, providing adequate housing, employing respectful handling techniques, and ensuring prompt veterinary intervention, farmers uphold the highest standards of health and welfare for deer in farming operations. The deer farming year really begins in the spring when the calves are born. These practices reflect their commitment to responsible and compassionate animal husbandry, ultimately contributing to the well-being of the deer and the sustainability of the farming enterprise. 
Even during the sensitive process of antler harvesting, ethical considerations remain paramount for farmers. They take great care to ensure that the procedure is conducted with minimal discomfort and stress for the animals involved. Adhering to humane practices, farmers employ pain management techniques and gentle handling methods to uphold ethical standards throughout the harvesting process. This commitment underscores their dedication to responsible and compassionate animal husbandry practices. The health and welfare of deer within farming operations are central to the ethical and sustainable production of antlers. Farmers prioritize proactive health management, ensuring access to veterinary care, providing adequate housing, employing respectful handling techniques, and ensuring prompt veterinary intervention. Farmers uphold the highest standards of health and welfare for deer and farming operations. These practices reflect their commitment to responsible and compassionate animal husbandry, ultimately contributing to the well-being of the deer and the sustainability of the farming enterprise. Even during the sensitive process of antler harvesting, ethical considerations remain paramount for farmers. They take great care to ensure that the procedure is conducted with minimal discomfort and stress for the animals involved. Adhering to humane practices, farmers employ pain management techniques and gentle handling methods to uphold ethical standards throughout the harvesting process. Antler producing cells at the base of the pedicle uh, start growing underneath. This commitment underscores their dedication to responsible and compassionate animal husbandry practices. The health and welfare of deer within farming operations are central to the ethical and sustainable production of antlers. Farmers prioritize proactive health management, ensuring access to veterinary care, and upholding ethical standards in housing, handling, and antler harvesting. By doing so, they uphold the dignity and well-being of the deer throughout their lives. Through these concerted efforts, farmers contribute to the promotion of ethical and sustainable practices within the deer farming industry, ensuring that deer raised for antler production lead healthy, comfortable, and dignified lives. With all that goes on in deer farming, the question remains, why do it all? What is the demand for deer antlers? And how lucrative is it? Stay tuned to find out. The market demand for deer antlers has experienced a significant upsurge in recent years, transforming the deer farming industry into a flourishing and adaptable sector. One of the most prominent uses of deer antlers lies in the production of velvet antler supplements, which are highly valued for their potential health benefits. These supplements, derived from the velvet covering of deer antlers, are revered for their medicinal properties and find applications in traditional medicine and natural dietary supplements. Furthermore, deer antlers hold a revered status in traditional medicine systems worldwide, being utilized in the production of tonics, teas, and other medicinal preparations due to their perceived health-promoting properties. Beyond their medicinal applications, deer antlers are also prized for their ornamental appeal. Often used in the creation of decorative items such as chandeliers, furniture, and art pieces. Their elegant and distinctive appearance makes them sought after in interior design and decorative arts. Beyond their conventional applications, the evolving landscape of the deer farming industry unveils captivating avenues for innovation. One such trend gaining momentum is the integration of ecotourism and agritainment ventures into deer farms, offering visitors immersive experiences centered around deer and their prized antlers. These ventures provide a platform for individuals to partake in a variety of farm-based activities, ranging from guided tours and educational workshops to interactive encounters with deer herds. Through ecotourism and agritainment, Deer farms transform into vibrant hubs of experiential learning and outdoor recreation. Visitors have the opportunity to witness firsthand the beauty and majesty of deer roaming in their natural habitat, gaining insights into their behavior life cycle and the intricate process of antler growth. Guided tours may offer informative narratives about deer farming practices, conservation efforts, and the significance of antlers in various cultures and industries. Moreover, ecotourism and agritainment ventures contribute to farm diversification, allowing farmers to broaden their revenue streams and enhance the sustainability of their operations. By capitalizing on the allure of deer and their antlers, farms can attract a diverse audience, including families, nature enthusiasts, and tourists seeking unique experiences in rural settings. 
These nature-based attractions not only foster a deeper connection between visitors and the natural world, but also promote environmental stewardship and conservation awareness. Through interactive activities such as feeding sessions, wildlife observation, and nature walks, visitors develop a greater appreciation for wildlife and ecosystems, fostering a sense of responsibility towards their protection and preservation. Furthermore, ecotourism and agritainment ventures provide economic opportunities for local communities, generating revenue through visitor spending on accommodations, dining, and souvenirs. Additionally, they create employment opportunities, particularly in rural areas, stimulating economic growth and contributing to the vitality of local economies. Moreover, there is a growing emphasis on value-added product development within the deer antler market. This includes the creation of artisanal goods, specialized dietary supplements, and unique consumer products derived from deer antlers, catering to niche markets and evolving consumer preferences. Innovative applications of deer antlers extend to the health and wellness industry, where they are increasingly incorporated into dietary supplements, functional foods, and alternative medicine formulations. Their potential benefits for joint health, athletic performance, and overall well-being have captured the attention of health-conscious consumers. Furthermore, the elegant and versatile nature of deer antlers has led to their innovative use in interior design, architecture, and artistic expression. From luxury home decor to avant-garde design installations, deer antlers are finding new applications that transcend traditional uses. In conclusion, the market demand for deer antlers spans a diverse array of industries, reflecting their versatility and growing recognition of their potential applications. With emerging trends driving innovation and expansion within the deer farming industry, the future of this valuable natural resource holds promise for both traditional and novel applications, paving the way for continued growth and evolution within the industry.